Ginger's Ranch Show, and it's Monday, September 12th, and it's been raining a little bit windy, the smoke blew out late last night and today. Um, I'm still trying to get smoke out of my lungs, so if you hear me coughing a lot, I'm still in the process of getting rid of it. So, hey Nancy! Oh, Nancy, thank you for the sale! And tell others about it, and I need more sales. Please? <laughs> and uh, the stuff should be in progress. If there's still a problem with that, I'll get with my support uh, group with uh, Design Slick and see if they could Design Sync uh, to find out what the problem is with it. Because you said they've been having some app problems. So I'll check on afterwards here. Okay. Uh, on my announcement here, um, uh, since I got my sale from Nancy again, which I'm really happy about. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, the other one is on, on Wednesday. I won't be doing my rant on Wednesday. I'm going to be seeing a two-bedroom retirement uh, apartment complex over here in Lakewood because <coughs> I need to get out of here. Um, uh, let's say the least this apartment complex has been very well maintained and it's starting to have some issues and the issues have never been addressed. Uh, I'm starting to have black mold which I've been fighting and he had not fixed the heater on that or anything and so uh, I got the all the initial fixed up and got that straightened out so it's just a matter of applying for the new apartment and moving uh, but I will keep you posted on that uh, the apartment that I'm moving to hoping to move to is a two bedroom and it gives me a little bit more room, a little bit more space. The kitchen's bigger than this kitchen. I mean, much bigger. It's got two countertops, got plenty of space, and I'm going to be thrilled with it. Also, it has a pantry, so I can store more of my stuff in there. Um, and, of course, my cats are getting better. Cyrano's getting better. He's been, of course, sleeping under the bed. That's his favorite perk favorite spot. Um, sometimes he sleeps on the bed, but it depends on what he feels like doing. Okay, um, so uh, remember, I'll put a reminder out on Wednesday morning that I won't be doing my rant on Wednesday. Okay, um, <coughs> on with the news. Um, Trump delay tactics is getting really kind of ridiculous because I don't, I think the DOG should appeal and the circuit court should overturn this gal and say, no, special matches not needed. These are federal documents and these are national security documents and they belong to the government. They don't belong to Trump ever. And so he's in deep doo-doo over that. And I think now they should just arrest, arrest his ass. They really should. They should not treat him any different. Treat him like all the others that did espionage. Well, look what happened. FBI, when they caught a guy doing espionage, and of course he's now in prison. He's in Supermax. And so... Uh, Trump should be treated the same way, okay? He should not be a special case whatsoever. Uh, even, for example, in the Teapot Dome scandal back in the 1920s, uh, that president knew he, was, he didn't want to get in trouble either. 
And so that's probably why he did not run for re-election. Because he knew he got in trouble with that scandal. And that was a federal issue there, too. So, uh, but then I heard to go back check history on leaders that somehow slipped into corruption or doing no-no things uh, when they've been told you can't do that. And uh, they should be slapped for not following regulations, rules and regulations. Us, the common people here, we do get slapped pretty quickly. And I don't think that those guys, like Trump, should not be uh, treated any different. He's a private citizen now. And he can't use executive privilege or anything else. He's no longer president. And uh, he should be slapped hard on this. Um, and if the his supporters and everything else and trolls get all mad about it, let them get all mad about it. What I find out is they get mad about it, it makes them think. It really does. Uh, so really, I don't think the special master is really that necessary, and I think the DOJ needs to slap back and say, no, these documents belong to the United States. They don't belong to you, and this is evidence. They shouldn't have never been down there in the first place, and who allowed them down there is beyond me, and he can't declare them as declassified, uh-uh, because there's a rigorous process for that. And ugh, people like Trump are, they're really kind of stupid, really. They don't bother to follow the rules or anything else. And the FBI has a right to that evidence. Because they have a special intelligence group within the FBI. Because <coughs> a lot of times they work closely with with the CIA and N NSA as well. If you don't know what NSA is, they're called the, the National Security Agency that handles all the national security stuff. So anyway, Trump needs to be in jail now for federal charges on that. They should just take off the kid gloves and slap handcuffs on him like they did on Steve Bannon and put him in the pokey. Uh, I understand Bannon is causing all kinds of issues at Rikers because he's refusing to take a shower and everything else. They will spray him down to prevent lice and things like that. They will spray him down and he's not going to like it. Uh, now the other thing on the 2024 general election, of course Trump is hinting at that he may run again for president. Well, I hope that's revoked. I hope he's denied application. I really do. Um, hey baby. Okay. Um. Uh, Anyway, he wants to, this is so ludicrous, Trump wants his daughter Ivanka uh, to be his running mate for president and vice president. Uh-uh. No. This spot doesn't work. No, they won't be pulling around with Ben, and they, they will slap him down hard. They really will. Um, Rikers is one of the most notorious prisons ever, and they have a lot of cliques, if you will, in Rikers, and uh, they have a social hierarchy, if you will. Um, They don't take too kindly to child beaters or abusers, uh, men that abuse women. Uh, they don't take kindly to people like Bannon, ever. And 
he's in uh, state charges. He's going to be there for a long time. There was like 15 counts against him on this. There is. So anyway, um, as far as Trump and his daughter maybe running, well, he can't. Uh, it's not going to happen. And if he wants to start a monarchy, he could renounce his uh, citizenship and live on an island somewhere. And then he could have his monarchy over there. Maybe exile him. That probably would be the worst thing. Make him a, a man without a country. You know? Well, look what happened to Napoleon Bonaparte. He got kicked out of France and he's exiled. Uh, oh, what's the name of the island over there in France? Off of France. But anyway, he was exiled over there. And, um, nope. Not going to happen. Uh, so, because it doesn't, you know, our constitution, it does not allow princes or kings in our constitution. That's why we went against it. That's why we uh, had a revolutionary war, was to get out from under a king who is a tyrant, which is George the Third in over in England back in the 1700s and he didn't really understand what was going on over here and he thought he could run roughshod on the people over here well when we moved over here or when our ancestors moved over here they established their own law they, they had some basic laws some of them are a mixture of <coughs> English canon law and also Roman and Greek canon law. So it's a mixture of all the laws we have now. Um, so, uh, we'll see what happens there. But I hope, and when he applies, I hope the Federal Elections Commission goes, nope, not going to happen. You've been in. And I hope he gets indicted. I really do. I hope he gets arrested and indicted. And when that happens, he's no longer allowed to run for office. And I think the 14th Amendment needs to be invoked on him. Needs to be slapped on him. Uh, in other news, um, her, the late Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth, uh, her funeral progress is still ongoing, it's on schedule. Uh, right now, her uh, coffin is at Edinburgh at St. Uh, there's a cathedral there in, in Edinburgh that she's at, and lying and stayed at, and she'll be there for like 24 or 36 hours, I think. I would have to check the schedule, but um, she's there right now. Her family's there with her, and uh, they did a service today. Uh, this is through the Scottish Church, and she's also uh, title designation. She also was formerly Queen of Scotland. Um, so Scotland's saying goodbye to, to her, and they're going to miss her. She was a good neighbor. Uh, she made sure the town, thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Thank gal. That's what I was looking for and I couldn't remember. <coughs> uh, she was a good neighbor. Uh, oftentimes, either she or Prince Delos, but, or Prince uh, George, or What's his name? Uh, the new king. Uh, went to the local bread shop and buy fresh bread, you know, for their dinners and everything else. And once in a while, the queen would cook her own meals. Huh. Um, hold on a second. Mm -hmm.
Let me check something here. Hold on a minute, let me check something. Anyway, um... Anyway, the new king is, you know, he's trying to pair him back and going by working royals only. Uh, a lot of things, because they and them are so far removed from the, in line for the throne. Um, some ways, I just wished he would just, you know, let bygones be bygones and have Harry come back in the fold and find a way to protect Megan and, because uh, that's what drove them out was because they were not backing them up and not protecting Megan through all the bullying that she's been receiving. And uh, that's uncalled for, bullying on Megan, really is. And uh, she gave him two kids, a son and a daughter. And, you know, uh, it's not right to bully somebody just because they're different okay that's my that's my thinking on it and I detest and I hate bullies I really do um let's see I have Because um, I didn't write it down. Uh, anyway, um, things should be brought back in the fold. I really do. And also, I think Andrew needs to be brought back in the fold. I think he was unfairly judged guilty, even though he wasn't tried for any crime or anything. And Guilty by association is really kind of unfair, too. And so they need to bring Andrew back into the fold. Because the new king is going to need all the help he can get. Because he's had, like, what she had, like, six old, over 600 events a year that she conducts. And all kinds of business and government and privy council business and everything. Uh, he, they meet once a week. And, um because the constitutional monarchy, not absolute monarchy, but the constitutional monarchy, and that's why they kept it that way in England. They, a lot of change since um, George III's time, it really is, and because before he had absolute, he was an absolute monarchy, well that changed, and uh, I think it was changed after his grandson changed it, suggested this. So, uh, but I think, I think he needs to forgive and move on, you know, bury the hatchet and move on, and stop all this resentment toward Harry, and stop all this resentment toward Andrew, and bring the family back together under the fold, and, uh, because those, Harry's two kids are grandkids of the king. And they have a right to see their grandfather like anybody else. And um, they should be not should not be denied any kind of access for that. Uh, I understand the other grandkids are willing to chip in and help too, and uh, which is a good thing. 
Um, I think now, um, Prince Char King Charles, that's what I was looking for. King Charles, uh, is now very humbled by all this, and he realizes he's taking on a big assignment. The biggest he's ever seen, and he's kind of been forced to grow up really fast on this. And, uh, in many ways that know, those that have known King Charles, he's just, he has excellent manners. He doesn't sit there and mock or anything, anybody, and, uh, I find him more kind of laid back, but yes, I have some resentment for the way how he treated Diana. And when you take marriage vows, you take them very seriously. Uh, you only forsake all others, and you keep that person who you're married to to yourself. And he should that should have been impressed upon him. And I think the queen should have said, no, you need to patch things up and not do a divorce. Because Diana was unhappy. She was trying to get things, she was trying to work it out, and Charles was not listening. He didn't want to listen, and he was glommed on to this other person, and he should have been slapped back for that. He really should have. And I don't think the Queen slapped him back hard enough. And, of course, with Queen Elizabeth, she should have not interfered with any of the kids' marriages either. She should have let it, them to work it out on their own. She should have not interfered with it. And, um, so I think there's going to be some changes on that there, too. Otherwise, Her Majesty, I wish her to rest in peace. I really do. So, um, anyway, I'm going to be busy the next two or three weeks, so I may not be doing my rants consistently, but I will let you know when I do do them, and maybe not on my schedule, but once I get moved and settled in, then yeah, I'll do my rants then, and, um, uh, I'll have to see what kind of plug-in setup they have, and I'll have to talk to Xfinity. Uh, when things do go through, I've talked to Xfinity about moving my account over to them and getting a new address and forwarding on everything. And, um, do it from there. They got a much better setup over at Lakewood Meadows. And they got all kinds of, of amenities they have uh, they have different planned activities. They have a Silver Sneakers gym club there. Uh, but I would have to talk to my doctor about that. Because I'm having hip issues. <laughs> yeah, the price we pay for getting older, right? Um, I have, on my left side, about a qu I would say about a quarter inch to a quarter inch. My hip bone is a little bit longer than my right. So I'm kind of somewhat lopsided when I stand. And so I have to rest my foot, left foot, so it doesn't put too much stress on my right side. <laughs> um, so I may have talked to my doctor about that. And then, of course, do my bone density test. Because um, I'm overdue for that. And I'll have to get my eyes checked and get my teeth done. And, uh, but I don't think any of that will happen until after I moved. And, because uh, I'm going to be closer to town. Uh, I just want to get out of Springbrook neighborhood here. I really do. And there's already two neighbors here in this complex that's already moved out. And uh, one neighbor has reported things to North End and reported to the state not with North End. So, who owns this? So, and I already let uh, uh, Clear Now know that I may not renew my account with them because I'm looking for a new place. And they said, yeah. 
And I'm the only one that uses the Adamus complex. So it's no big deal. So anyway, um Alright, well I'm gonna go ahead and sign off, grab a bite to eat for lunch, and uh I'll see you on Friday. I might do a special rant, uh, maybe on Thursday or something like that. But I'll see how things go and I'll keep you guys posted on this. Also, I will be posting this rant on my YouTube channel, and I hope to get more uh, subscribers, because what I really like to do is get to the goal of 1,000 subscribers, and then I can go live simultaneously on both of them. That's what I really like to do. Makes it so much easier instead of having to track this video down, download it, and then move it to YouTube and then re-download it again. And I like to go live completely and everything already um, recorded, so to speak. So, I need more sales and I need more, um, how do I put it, uh, references? Uh, people referring to my store and checking things out with it and uh ordering stuff from it and um they got the logistics oh nancy let you know they got the logistics things issued uh issues fixed and they said it went from three to five days it depends on where it comes from on their, their warehouse so uh i don't know if you've got any more emails regarding the product that you ordered and i'll check on that afterwards so uh, I love you guys, and I will see you later. Take care. I'm going to watch the Seahawks play this afternoon. <laughs> Going against Denver. Um, uh, and the Mariners won yesterday by one point. I mean, it was a big com comeback, and it was like, wow, yay. So, anyway, I love you, and... Be sure to insist, persist, push back, and share. And I will see you on Friday. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.